Palladiums are some of the most popular outdoor foliage plants. They don't have showy flowers, but with leaves like these, you don't really need flowers. The Palladiums are in the same family as elfin ears or the arum family. In fact, the leaves sort of look like little elfin ear leaves. They're just smaller and a lot more colorful. The colors that uh, caladiums are available in are reds, pinks, whites, and greens, and all sorts of variations, combinations, and even specklings of these different colors. Caladiums are not hardy in Oklahoma, but they make really good bedding plants, and they also grow very well in containers. Now, caladiums have traditionally been planted in the shade, in these different shady spots of the garden but these plants can actually handle more sun than I think a lot of people realize. Just make sure that the soil is enriched with organic matter, make sure it's kept evenly moist, and position the planting somewhere out of the hot drying winds. Caladiums grow from an underground tuber similar to a potato, and like a potato they have lots of leaf buds that we call eyes. You can see all the, the leaf buds here on this very large caladium tuber. Now these caladiums you can see potted up here don't have a lot of leaf stems that have sprouted from the tuber. In fact in this one you just just have one main leaf and starting to get another one right here. Well there's a trick that I'll show you that you can do to get more leaf buds to sprout from the caladium tuber. To uh, get this to happen, we have to overcome apical dominance, sort of like when we pinch back the, uh, the uh, tip of the stem of, of chrysanthemums or other plants to get them to bush out. Well, in this case, we don't really have a stem to, to pinch away, so what we're going to do, we're going to take these eyes or these buds and just cut them out. This is called scarring the eyes of the caladiums. And it seems pretty harsh or cruel, but by doing this will cause a whole bunch, a whole bunch of these, these hidden buds down inside the tuber to uh, break dormancy and start to grow. You can see how I'm doing this. I'm sort of just taking my knife and just scarring them out, leaving like a little crater or a little divot. And I'm not only doing the large buds, but I'm going to get every, every bud that I can see even if there's like a little bump somewhere that I, I think might be a bud, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and cut that out. But we're going to scar all of these buds of the caladium, even these little tiny side bu buds. I'm going to cut those away. And when this, when this starts to, uh, to sprout, all those, all those hidden buds down inside this tuber, once those start coming out, we'll have six or seven times the number of leaves that we would normally have. And this will make our plantings look a lot better. They'll just be a lot fuller and will have a lot more color. We can then take the caladiums, let them heal over for about two or three days, kind of like a, a potato once we cut it up for a, a seed piece of the potato. Just kind of let those, those wounds heal up a little bit. And then we can plant those about two inches deep in the garden. Now if any flowers come up on your caladiums, you can see we've got one right here on this plant. Uh, they're not showy at all. They uh, have a little bit of white to them, but they're mostly green. Just uh, cut those away as well out in the garden. That way the energy will be forced into growing more leaves. So if you're going to plant caladiums this year, sounds cruel, but scar the eyes out and you'll get a lot more leaves coming up and you'll get the most out of your caladiums.